So welcome, people of God. So the anointing for victory is really, really strong in my spirit. This is going to kind of be a prophetic flow, but this is really also going to be a word of exhortation. I really want to speak some really plain truth into you. I really want to just encourage you in victory for you to absolutely know and live in your want. Like, like that's the word the Lord said to me. The, the Lord was saying to me and talking to me about how to live in your want. Whatever it is, and y'all know I like to tell y'all that wanting is not faith. But even from the aspect of want, if all you can do is be in the arena of want, I want to tell you how to live in it and not just see it as an outside posture. Listen, your performance has an ETA. Your performance has an ETA. The problem has been people of God. First of all, we don't know how to be governed in the fact that your performance is guaranteed. We think that once we pray, we're sitting with this posture of, is God going to do it? Did God hear me? And even if we get past the fact that God heard me, it's a done deal. We're still bullied. We're still in fear around time. Your performance has an ETA. All God is wanting you to do is to sit in a posture of peace, patience, and perseverance. That's all you have to do. Continuing to know it's done. Continuing to know God heard me. Continuing to know I'm expecting. Continuing to know it's a done deal. We don't understand that. And so we, we pray and we say we receive and we say we believe, but we're looking outside. As soon as we pray, right, we're looking outside not in expectation of having, but in expectation of what was I even heard? Because I don't see it. I don't see it. I don't feel it. I don't know if this thing is done for me. Rest assured, if that is your posture, then yeah, it wasn't done for you. It wasn't done for you. We are, and I'm going to keep saying it. I'm going to keep saying it until it gets from your head to your heart. We are new covenant believers. The power of the Holy Spirit is on the inside of you, people of God. We are not living as the people in the old and only having an outside separated posture from God. The veil has been torn by the finished work of the cross. Act like you know that you know you are a child of God made right by the work of Jesus. Act like you know that. Act like that part of the Bible you get. Act like you are a new covenant believer. Your performance has an ETA. Your perform the problem has been speaking, speaking of the old, and this scripture is even in the Old Testament. We don't understand the magnitude of Isaiah 43, 18 and 19. We say it, we love it, but we don't understand it. The Bible says in Isaiah. 43, 18, and 19, that we are to not remember the former things. We are to forget them. We are to not dwell on the past. If you had a, if you're believing for healing and the past is that you're sick, you don't need to keep rebuking and renouncing sickness once you believe for healing. You need to be walking around thanking God, decreeing and declaring healing in your body. Thank you, Jesus, I am healed. Thank you, Lord, my body is whole. Thank you, Jesus, for good health. I receive it by faith, I have good health. If the old is that you didn't have a car, if the old is that you didn't have the funds and you've asked God, and speaking of that, let me, wait, let me, let me, let me tell y'all how to call it in. Let me tell y'all how to call it in. If the old is that you didn't have it and you pray and you ask God for it and you believe you have received, thank you, God, for this new vehicle. Thank you, God, for this transportation. Thank you, Lord, that the money is here. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that you heard me and that my needs are met. And let me say this. Let me say this real quick. And I feel this in my spirit. And I'm only talking about me. I'm not talking about nobody else. As much as God allows me, I come on here 
And I give y'all all this free teaching, all this free oil, all this free anointing, over 800 videos. I don't ever attach nothing to what I give y'all. I want whoever is on the other side, not even talking to me first, but sending me requests for money. I want you to stop it at the name of Jesus. I want you to stop it because I pour too much for free here. I have given you all the teachings for free here to know how to use the word of God and the anointing that you have to call in your resources. I want you to stop it because it's disrespectful. I don't know who you are. I don't know, but I want you to stop it. Let me let me say this. Let me say this and I'm going to I'm going to wrap this word of victory up because I I want to come on here and I want to be I want to have a strong word of exhortation. Something that God had to really walk me through. I'm not talking to y'all about something that I just got through second hand. I'm talking about when I didn't have anybody in my life and God had to show me how to call in the miraculous, how to call in the supernatural, how to believe for the wonders. I'm telling you what God had to teach me and continues to teach me and walk me through. Do you understand what I'm saying? I'm telling y'all how this year in this ministry in front of y'all, in front of y'all, I had miracles before that y'all weren't a part of. I'm talking about how in front of y'all, I talked to y'all about being in a place of faith and getting the biggest financial breakthrough that I've had in this ministry in front of y'all openly, openly. I put that in front of y'all. I told y'all. I, I've been speaking to y'all about identity. I've been speaking to you about authority. I've been telling you all we are farmers. Stop all this fighting. Get out of... Help me, Jesus. Help me, Jesus. Listen. I don't, I don't, I don't want to tip over too many cows in this one word. And I, I really want to come for some of that really passive doctrine that I continue to see all up and through these YouTube streets on social media. But I'm gonna tell you this, and I'm, I'm, I'm gonna walk off from this word, and I'm gonna drop this here. Your performance has an estimated time of arrival. Sit in peace, sit in patience, sit in perseverance. When the noise starts coming to you that God didn't hear you, when the noise starts coming, you're gonna stay stuck. When the noise starts saying to you, it's not going to work. Open up your mouth and worship and praise and honor to God. God hears you. God loves you. God knows you. You are not forgotten by God. None of us, myself included, even in this house, is ever in a place where we are absolute not where we are stuck. We aren't stuck here. We aren't stuck here. If you are governed here, if you gleam here. I am teaching and encouraging you the absolute goodness of God. That's all I want to do here. That's all I want to do. All I want to do is move us from this place of feeling like God is an iffy God. God is always judging us. God is always sometimey. I just want to move you into a relationship with God. Just you and God that has nothing to do with me. Outside of the fact that I want in on that God. I want in on that kind of relationship. I want in on that kind of anointing. I stand in a place of intercession for every single one of you that are assigned here. Your performance has an ETA. Your performance has an ETA. It shall be on earth as it is in heaven. It shall be. You have to believe that. You have to believe it and live in your wants.